This is the true story of Chani, a male elephant confined in a menagerie on a busy street in London who suddenly went berserk with horrifying and tragic consequences. The gruesome and controversial way in which the elephant was put to death in 1826 sparked widespread anger and garnered public attention. This video is in the memory of the elephant who was used for human entertainment and killed when he reacted against the abuse. Chuni was a wild Indian male elephant who weighed nearly 7 tons at 11 feet tall in his prime. In July 1811, he was captured and taken over to England by the English East India Company. He was purchased by Stephen Polito, the owner of a menagerie at the Exeter Exchange, a building located on the Strand, a major road in London. After Polito's death, the menagerie was bought by Edward Cross in 1817. Cross was a popular zoo proprietor and dealer in animals. Polito and Cross both were motivated by profit and their captured exhibits were kept in cramped conditions and were often treated cruelly. Chuni was a tame elephant who was forced to appear on stage to perform pantomime acts. He even performed with Edmund Keane, who was a British Shakespearean stage actor. At the time, the elephant was well behaved and obeyed every command. One of the tricks he was trained to perform was to take money from visitors and hold it with his trunk before returning it. The trick impressed Lord Byron, a well-known English poet. Over time, Chuni increased in bulk and strength. Because of his new size, a new cage was constructed for him. Around the same time, one of his usual keepers died. So during the construction of his new den, the elephant became attached to a carpenter, a man named Harrison. One day in 1820, when Chuni's keeper went into his den to exhibit him, Chuni refused to obey. The usual practice was to strike him with a cane when he was disobedient and that is what the keeper did. The keeper wasn't aware that Chuni was suffering with an infected tusk and already in a lot of pain. The beating enraged Chuni and he threw the keeper down. Another man sensing the danger tossed the keeper a pitchfork. Chuni, however, kicked the pitchfork aside and seized the keeper. Cross heard the commotion and pulled the keeper away, saving his life. Similar incidences of rage continued to spontaneously occur over the years until they became more frequent and more violent. On February 26, 1826, while on his usual Sunday walk along the road, Chuni ran amok, killing one of his keepers. He became increasingly enraged and difficult to handle over the following days owing to periods of must, a condition in male elephants characterized by highly aggressive behavior and accompanied by a large rise in reproductive hormones. Even the most placid elephants in must can be extremely dangerous to both humans and other elephants. A few days later, on March 1st, Chuni made a powerful lunge against his cage and loosened some of the posts that held the cage in its place. As Cross was unavailable, another man tried to fortify the cage by placing a large timber in the front. But Chuni was upset, and all attempts were futile. During Cross's absence, Chuni's fury increased to the point where the keepers fought him with pikes and spears to prevent him from liberating himself from his den. After Cross arrived, he found Chuni in a furious state, and even Harrison couldn't calm him. The cage was now insecure, and Chuni was in an excited state. He was eventually seen as a threat to his keepers and even to the general public and it was decided that he was too dangerous to keep. Cross made the decision to kill Chuni. The keepers tried to kill him by poisoning him but Chuni refused to eat all food as if he had the suspicion that it was intended to destroy him. Under the circumstances, soldiers were summoned to shoot Chuni with their muskets. It was difficult to shoot the elephant while he was standing in the agitated state so Chuni's keeper commanded him to kneel down, a practice that Chuni was used to in his training. Chuni trusted the keeper and knelt down, only to be hit by two musket balls which were fired towards his heart, but they entered his shoulder blade. The enraged Chuni made a fierce rush to the front and crashed into the gate, loosening it further. After getting shot a few more times, he spun to hide his head. The firing continued and after about 30 shots, Chuni suddenly sunk into his haunches, conceiving that a shot had struck him in a vital part. However, the wounded elephant rose once again and moved forward with renewed vigor. 
After more shots were fired, he fell for a second time, breathing heavily. Despite having received more than a hundred shots, he rose again, exhausted but determined to stay on his feet. The keepers were then directed to constantly shoot at his ear. One ball took effect, and he rushed around the den and gave one last furious lunge at the gates. The lunge was described as the most awful of the whole. Chuni eventually received around 152 musket balls before he completely collapsed. He was finished off by a keeper with a harpoon or a sword. The floor of his cage was deeply covered with his blood and it was said that the sound of the elephant in agony was more alarming than the reports of the soldiers' guns. News of the slaughter inspired numerous poems and even a successful play. But his owner, Edward Cross, sought a profit even in the animal's death. He charged a shilling to see the body dissected. He sold the hide which took 9 butchers 12 hours to remove. And he put Chuni's skeleton on display in his old cage, with the bullet holes in his skull clearly visible. Chuni's skeleton along with the affected tusk was on display in the Royal College of Surgeons Museum until May 11, 1941, when the museum was almost completely destroyed by a direct hit from a high explosive bomb, which also destroyed Chuni's skeleton. Chuni isn't the only elephant executed in the past. There is the story of Mary the Elephant who was hanged to death in one of the cruelest ways an animal was killed. Another elephant named Topsy was electrocuted to death. And there is the more recent story of Elephant Tyke who was shot to death after she escaped from a circus in search of freedom from the cruelty meted out to all animals in circuses. The menagerie at Exeter Exchange declined in popularity after Chinese death. The animals were relocated in 1828 and the building was demolished in 1829. Thank you for watching. If you found the video interesting, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to Seanvolution for more such content.